Hello and welcome to the Criticuculus. I'm the Monk and we are in Empire of Sin on our episode 5 now I believe on the 1.04 playthrough using the challenge number 2 we are about to go to war with Frank Reagan. I've taken out all of the little factions apart from one. I'm leaving one faction in the game. Um, just so that way I can then trade a whiskey to. I've got one little place actually making whiskey up. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So now we're caught up. Let's go and start a war. Let's have a little look-see. Declare war. We even know where his safe house is as well, which is quite cool. Don't fuck with me. Now we are at war. Now, I think he has a few um, little places dotted around. So I don't think we're going to be able to get a, play, a playthrough on his safe house done today. Um... I also need to remember after this fight to jump back and pick up Zizi. She's just recovered from an injury. Uh, that will put our gang up to six. Now, that sounds like quite a lot. Like I said, I mean, I completed the last playthrough. Um, the final boss with just four. Um, but they were, I guess, better grinded out gangsters than what I'm playing with right now. I've got extremely low tier gangsters. Um so it's going to be interesting just how we fare against Frank and his crew. Because uh, they could be, you know, like decently buffed. I mean, they're not, but they could. But if you do look real quick, uh, something I don't know if you guys know. Um, but you see these little numbers they've got next to them? Well, that relates to the power level that they are. And as you can see... We are power level one, all in all. This one has like a little power level two there. So if you start out with a boss, I believe they've got power level uh, seven. So they are significantly, you know, stronger than the average gangster. Significantly so. I'm on it. Which is why, you know, a reason why we're not actually using him. Plus, it does make the games harder. Um, because, obviously, uh, once we start a war, we have to finish a war. If someone goes to war with us, there really isn't much we can do about it. We can't attend sit-downs, which means we can't have truths. Uh, we can't stop a game, you know, in the middle. Yeah. I'm so, if on. we go to war, we have to, we have to end the war. But every kill counts. Hoping to get a good few kills. I'm hoping to get uh, a couple of these gangsters leveled up a little bit more in trait-wise. Um, I'm expecting deaths. Do it doesn't mean I want deaths. Like, for instance, I can't heal him right now. Um, and if he takes another shot, there's a good chance he's dead. So I'm going to pop him just here. It's a pistol. This guy's hitting me with a... Or he will be hitting me with a pistol. Let's just go... Let's go here. I'm on it. I'm popping behind cover. See, I use cover a little bit more in this playthrough. Normally, I don't bother about play, um, cover. But I'm having to use it just a hitch bit more. Just because, you know, I'm playing with high stakes. You know, if someone gets too badly injured or take too many hits, then there's they could very well be out of the game. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it. Oh, we missed that one. Mm. 
All right, doctor's turn. Oh, we could get a kill with the doctor want, here. Boss. If we're lucky. And we do. Very nice. Well, I'll be Take that over, and it's another brothel. I don't really need a brothel. I actually need a brewery, but, you know, is what it is. I'm actually short on alcohol. So I do need to make as much alcohol as I can. Anything you want, boss. There we go. Everyone is healed back up, and we are ready for another hit. Oh dear. There we go, guys. We are fighting two bosses oh, at once now. Um, there's pretty much nothing we can do All about right. it, so this is going to be interesting. It definitely has started now. So it's do or die in episode five. So first off... Well, there's a lot of cops in this city. Is there any more f Franks? I don't think so. This is my main city. And where is the third? One, two, three. Northern side. Oh, okay, so Frank's safe house is over here. I'm going to teleport back here real quick. I'm just going to pick up ZZ. She's just recovered, obviously. Um, if we're going to be fighting two, then there's going to be a lot of... There's, there's just going to be a lot of a lot of. So uh, I think the extra muscle is probably needed. There we go. Pop in here. Grab ZZ. And then I would quite like to get Frank out of my city. You know what I mean? So maybe we prioritize Frank. But if I see any hit squads around... Um, then we try for them as well. All over it. I'm on it. All right. I think that sounds like a good plan. Would you reckon? You are insane. They want forty two grand. I don't even have forty two grand. Who've we got? Don't see any moving hit squads. I do see one of Frank's uh, properties just up here, though, so we will go on that. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Do I want to do this or not? Let's get auto resolve. That is a defense we lost. going to go auto resolve again and lose. Who's that? Gotcha. Ah, <clears throat> oh, did anyone notice that ZZ is still injured even though she's just come back from being healed, uh, she still got her injuries. Uh -huh. That's seriously annoying. I wish I'd spotted that. You are no use to anyone, buddy. Shit. There we go. I've actually quite liked his little combos. There was little knife throws. Okay. He's on one health. I'm on it. That is one just hidden down the alleyway as well. I do miss guns, to be fair. We haven't gotten. Yeah, bad weapons? Uh, we haven't got the best weapons, we haven't got bad weapons. Yes. If 
fair, my guy has actually got the kill. Of course. Yeah, I'm not gonna take this. That is a bit graphic, isn't it? <laughs> That's swell. And hopefully that will be it. I think any scouts, any hit squads, if we see them, uh, I'm going to take them out. Another building's being attacked. Oh, I've actually just gone to fight that one. <laughs> Instead of auto-resolve. I will auto-resolve all of those defences. I, I can't stand them. Um, that was an accident. Let's pop behind here as well. Get my people close together. It's 2v2. Now hopefully uh, that worked. There we go. Got a kill. And let's try and get another kill. What do you guys think of the double tap? Have you been using it that much? Do you miss pistols the way they were? Obviously, I haven't been using pistols, so I haven't really noticed it. But um, I, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I'm going to go auto-resolve. We actually won one. Wowza. Go again. Auto-resolve. This is why having auto-resolve in the game is just so good. Because, gosh, guys, how annoying would have this to have been to fight every single one of these defences? I mean, it, it ain't fun. It's not fun losing your properties, but... Phew. Those fights, they take their time, you know? I'm there. Okay, so we, we've lost a few properties, but it is what it is. I'm all over. We'll go through it, get some kills, sort out Frank in the next episode. And, uh, and then we'll be on to the last boss. We're kind of locked into this war now. The most I can do is delay it. So, like, for instance, if we start winning the war outright, here come to me and say, do you want a truce? Obviously, we can't do the sit-down itself, but we can say, give me some time to think about it. And that's about all we can do, which gives us a couple of days anyway. There's only one place that I don't want to lose. Um... And I very much doubt I'm going to lose it. It's a brewery that I've upgraded. I probably spent about 30 grand in it, upgrading the production um, and you know what it is uh, that I'm actually producing. I also upgraded the security. I think I've got like level 4 security, so it's not the best. Um, but it should be noticeable if they attack it. I'd be like, ah, not on your Nelly. Not on your Nelly. Here we go. And I flee win. Because that's producing my whiskey at the moment. So, you know, I get I get on average like two grand every now and again from, from selling it, so it's worth keeping. That's how I've managed to get the money that I've got, that and obviously winning the little tiny fights as well. Yeah, I'm on it. It's the amount of fights that I'm actually having that's managed to keep me afloat. Because I've got quite a big crew size. I mean, from the very, very beginning of this game, um, I've had quite a big crew size, you know? Um, which has obviously slowed down my play, but it's because of the amount of fights that I have and um, the, the mission itself as well at the beginning of the game. You get quite a lot of money for doing that sort of stuff. OK, 
Okay, so I just need to do the quick heals before we get into another fight. Again. I cannot tell you how many playthroughs I have done on this game and I did not know you could heal out of combat. Um, is that something that you guys knew about? Is that something that I am just incredibly slow at learning? Um, like I said guys, I've almost got platinum achievement in this game. Uh, which, you know, every single achievement in this game. That's a run through with every single character. Or every single boss. And uh, I've only just found that out. Thanks to someone within the family. Um, that I chat to. See. Requesting a truce. But I can't accept it. So that would be a no. And to be fair. Frank's not the one I'm worried about. Um, as far as I know. However. They will never rush your safe house. Now. It's taken me. A very long time of playing the game to realize that they will never rush your safe house but as far as i know um they will never rush your safe house which means as you know if you if your boss is in a safe house you kind of can't lose the game Not bad. Oh, we've walked into Dion's people. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, he's a tough cookie. Look at him. I got you. Let's get this one first. Right away. We will throw. I quite like the um, the knife throw. We missed then, but I quite like the knife throw and then the then a standard attack. If he had a rifle, that would probably you know pair up quite well. Gotcha. You got it. We got bleed. That's quite important. You're not here enough. Twenty percent. Shit. Okay. Still what, maybe three hits and we've got a miss as well, so that's not gonna work. Yes. Okay, that one's just needs one more hit. Understood. Can we get it? Well, we got the kill there. Okay. Swing and a miss. Hey, you got it, boss. You got it. Ah, oh, Grover. Let me down, mate. Still bleeding out, apparently. Oh, got two of us then. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Again, that's the problem with doing melee only. You are grouped together, therefore, you know, shotguns, explosives, all that stuff. It's going to get nasty. It's going to get messy. The safe houses are going to be interesting, guys. Let me know down in the comments if you think that I'm going to be able to successfully do the safe house without a single death. Because I find that extremely unlikely. I mean, maybe if I play smart enough, you know what I mean? Draw people back. It's possible. It's possible. Um, do I take over this business? It's a speakeasy. I really don't need a speakeasy. The guards are going to respawn soon enough anyway, so let's mosey on out. I just want to take out... I want to take out Franks. I got it. What? Huh? 
Obviously, we are at war with everybody, so very good chance that we're going to run into another fight before we get there. There we go. Hmm. We're not war. Well, we are at war with everyone, but there's only two people left in the game. It's just that one of those two people happens to own the bloody streets. Obviously, guys, if you if this is your first time playing this game, I wouldn't do what I'm doing. <laughs> I would concentrate on your own neighborhood first. I think that's a very good idea. Um, I've just been kind of doing what I had to do in this playthrough, I guess. Well, really, most of this playthrough is all down to those missions. I was trying to get that mission sorted. I'm glad I did. Not glad for the reward. But I'm glad I finished it. I got it. The reward is crap. Literally the worst unique yeah, weapon it, in boys. the game. I mean, name me a worse unique weapon than the silencer. It's a cool name though. The silencer. This here is the silencer. Yeah, it's a cool name. It's just crap. I'm on it. She took quite a big hit, but it'll be fine. We're still too bloody far away to actually hit anyone. Kind of annoying. This this little area is massive, as it turns out. I got it. Right away. Get a little bit closer. Maybe we can use our axe on the next turn. Gotcha. Right, she's only got a pistol. Of course, he's got the shotgun. If he'd used the blast, then could have hit three people instead of just the one. Yeah, you got it, boss. I do think the AI should use. I don't know, just a bit more common sense, really. You know, go for maximum damage, you know what I mean? Yes. I don't see that being a hard thing to to actually get within the game as well. You got it. Okay, so I think Frank only has one more. Uh, in this city. I have to have a look to see. Because I'm pretty sure he just took over. One of my rackets. Somewhere. I got it. Let's have a little look see. Have a zoom. Going to teleport down here. Just quicker than running the streets. Plus. The more I run the streets, the more likely I am to get into random fights. Auto resolve that. You got it. You got it. So it's right here. I need to... If I run all... Ah, oh, you've gone on the pavement. I got it. I don't think they like walking I in the middle it. of the road, to be fair. Smart cookies, these gangsters. Let's 
There we go. Now, can I sneak past these without having a fight if I go on the far side? And this is the last racket in this city. So I can at least tick that off my list. You got it. So hoping for a little inflict of bleed whenever Grover goes first. Because he's got that chance on yeah. the uh I think he's got a cleaver. I think the silencer just got a uh, bleed then. Got bleed two now. Yep, I'm on it. All right, can leave him now. He's gonna die. So let's pop down here. This one's a little bit out of range. I don't think any of us are gonna be able to actually hit him. We will just line up on a pretty little wall for him. Be like, which one of us do you want to kill the first? As long as it's not Grover, we're okay. <laughs> Consider it done. Ooh, you missed that, mate. Bleed set in now, well done. It's over already. Hmm. Too far for the duck. Too far for the duck. You got it. Hopefully yeah, that is it. Oh, he's got eight left. He has one more go. You didn't make me pay for it though. A little shotgun blast might have gone down a tree. You can count on me. What was that a rifle even? Yeah. Building is under attack. We're gonna auto resolve that again. And we have got another one. Again, we are gonna auto resolve. Twenty nine percent. Same deal. I know you're thinking that we're losing all of our rackets, and we are. Um, but at the same time, they kind of just give up after a while. Um, and once you take out a load of the hit squads, they don't seem to get too much of a rollback on again. So that's just my experience from playing anyway. Um, obviously, at the moment... You know, they are rolling through him, but one gangster at a time for me, I think. Anything you want, boss. Or one boss at a time. Once I've got Frank out of the picture, work on Dion. He'll soon yes. stop attacking me. Fuck off! Gonna bust you up! Oh! Is she dead? Oh, she's not dead, but she's downed. ZZ is down, guys. I mean, I've got like two turns to finish this fight off, or she's dead. I think I can do it. It's going to have to be quick. Oh, I didn't realize he still had one in the office. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to... I think ZZ's dead, guys. Which sucks. She was my reward for actually doing the mission itself. She's the highest tiered gangster. 
I even have. And I think she is dead. Oh, nice. Inflict bleed as well. I'm on it. Well, if you weren't dead, you were going to be. You got it. I don't know. If she doesn't die this time, which she didn't, I've got a good chance of uh, actually saving her. Although, Doc, if you miss your shots like that, love, it's it's really not going to work, is it? Or Malone's no help at all. Look at him. It's a big shotgun blast. I got it. All right. Doc, what are you doing? We missed two hits then. Okay. We did it. We saved her. We actually saved her. She would have died after that. She would have 100% died after that, guys. But she's now all kushti. You got it. I'm surprised that she doesn't need to go to hospital. Again, I think that if a character especially ends the fight on getting downed, then you know, they should really need to go to hospital. I love the hospital you know, the the thing where, you know, a, a gangster gets injured and they kind of go away for X amount of time and that, and then they come back to you. I really like that. Um, I like that system in play. I just don't think maybe it's working at its full potential. I think maybe if they get really injured, and I mean, I've had um, characters gone for three months at a time, right? Well, I think if a character's gone for three months, then maybe their loyalty to you should go, you know, should go along with it. Maybe there, there could be a storyline that kind of gets kicked into play I'm then. It, you know, flip it a coin chance. I think that would be interesting anyway. Right away. Okay, we are done. So he's gone. He's out of this city. We no longer need him. Well, we... You know what I mean. He's, no, he's not in there anyway. Um, that's his main... And is he in the market? Let's have a quick look. He is not in the market, meaning all he has is what's here, which is brilliant. So we have very, very almost taken out Frank. In fact, the next episode is going to be a safe house episode. It's going to be interesting whether these six are going to be able to pull off the job. And if I don't get too many, you know, casualties. You got it. So he's got a cop there. And four good guards outside. That, I reckon that's going to be a tough fight, you know, outside his, uh, outside his gaff. Yeah, man. Run into the northern side mob, unfortunately. Hey, let's do it. I think a couple of our guys have got the 25 kill trait, though, on melee weapons, which is brilliant. Basically, I haven't showed you uh, in this playthrough, but basically with that, if you get a kill, um, you actually get 20 health back as well. So I think that's pretty good. Not my first castle. Oh, this is really annoying. I can't attack him because everyone's in the way. 
take a nap of trash. I hear you. Well, they didn't have enough movement to get around the other side. Yeah, let's pop us here. Don't think that's actually giving us any cover, which is slightly annoying. The long runs, though, especially when you you know you're running into gunfire, it's risky. I Having to run into the open, you're gonna take damage. Right away. But I think this fight's won. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here. Like I said, the next episode we are gonna hit a safe house. Of course. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, if you're enjoying the playthrough, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment your thoughts. Um, all the support that I get for this is awesome, so I really do appreciate it. Um, and guys, I will catch you in the next episode real soon. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.